Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chaswais. Today we are at the next topic, the NDM studies explained and we are at the 37th position. Although this position is not directly related to any King and Pond and him, I thought to share this because it emphasizes one of the techniques of calculation. One of the most important things is to find moves when we are looking to solve any position or we are playing during the game. So this position is white to play and win and we see the ill placing of this queen and the awkward placing of the king because of which white wins. So the moves which come to our mind here are knight a6, knight d7, bishop f2 check and d4. So let's say these are the four moves we can classify them and put them in an order of importance. Suppose I feel knight d7 is most important so that will become my move a. Knight a6 becomes b, bishop f2 becomes c and d4 becomes d. So whenever I am thinking of the first move let's say nd7. So on my second move I will use the other three moves first. So other three moves especially using check capture attack. So other three moves will be b, c and d that is knight a6, bf2 and d4. And likewise we enter into the position further. Plus we take into account the new moves. So let us try to solve this position that way. So knight d7 check first. King has only one option. King has to go to d5. After kd5 we see that d4 is not check anymore. Knight a6 is not available. And bf2 is also not a check here. So what we do there. After the move knight d7 kd5 we look for the next moves. So we have got knight b6 check, knight f6 check and c4. So what we will do, we will keep the hold of our previous three moves still. Which were knight a6, d4 and bf2 which we can use later. So after knight d7, kd5, we see that after knight f6 check, king just manages to take the pawn on e5. When the queen and king cannot be forked, after knight g4 check, king just escapes from the d6 square. Note that after the move c4 check, king can just manage to the d4 square, when bf2 check will be just taken. So white tries knight d7, kd5, knight b6 check. This time he is forcing the king to take e5 and using the relation between the king and the queen with the move knight c4 check. Now we note that on the white squares d5 and f5 knight e3 check and the queen is lost. So only move remains king f4 when there is g3 check and we see the king cannot avoid white squares anymore. So from f3 there will be knight e2 check, from g4 there will be knight e3 check and from f5 also there will be knight e3 check and the queen is lost. Let's play these moves and see. Knight e7 check kd5 knight b6 check king e5 knight c4 check king f4 forced kd5 and f5 round any 3 and the move g3 check now the queen is forked in all the squares available after kf3 there is knight d2 fork after kg4 there is knight d3 fork after king f5 there is again knight e3 fork winning the queen. So the only move is king c5. So after knight d7 check, kd5, knight b6 check, black has to go for kc5. And this is where the problem lies. Now we see knight d7 check repeats the position. d4 check allows the king to just take the knight on b6. And if we now recollect our previous move, then we will see the bf2 check very easily and quickly. So what happens after nb6, king c5, white uses bf2 check and just checks whether he can use the king and queen position for the knight fork. Do note that now queen has to take the bishop. So basically we have forcibly decoyed the queen. So after queen f2, there comes again knight d7 check, forcing kd5. And this time we find that the queen on f2 is forked after knight f6 check in both the lines. If king goes to c5, knight e4 check and the queen is lost. And if king takes c5, 
again knight g4 check and the queen is lost and white wins it again so knight d7 check kd5 knight b6 check kc5 bishop f2 check queen f2 knight d7 check kd5 knight f6 check and now it's game over kc5 lost knight e4 followed by queen is taken and after ke5 also knight g4 check king f5 and knight takes the queen and the rest is very easy in future i will try to cover many more positions using this technique of calculation i hope you are finding these lessons useful do like share and subscribe the channel thanks for your time